Welcome to N60. I'm Peter White, and my guest is Lauren Ryan from the Think Tank Group. Lauren, welcome. We're looking for short, sharp answers. Your time starts now. Define Think Tank in five words or less. Thanks for having me, Peter. Uh, I'd define Think Tank's proven track record in property finance and alternate investments. What's the biggest investment challenge facing investors today? Well, the question I'm getting a lot of the time is trying to navigate the volatility in the markets, especially given that with a mortgage fund, we ask investors to commit capital for 12 months. So it's investing in a illiquid um, investment during that volatile time. What's the most important when you're reviewing an asset? Profit, cash flow, security or debt level? They're all really important. Um, when we look at a deal, we're looking at the the financial um, capacity of the borrower and the guarantors as long as well as the um, the quality of the security asset. What's the biggest red flag for when assessing an investment? When investors are looking at an investment, I think if the the party they're looking to use isn't transparent, uh, that would be a, a red flag. Uh, have they got a proven track record through a handful of different market cycles and, and done some stress testing on their portfolio? And does the the fund or the, the partners or the directors have skin in the game? Are they investing uh, alongside with you? What's the most attractive trait of a, an investment in mortgage-backed securities? The income that's derived from the mortgages is, is what people are seeking, uh, as well as the security being the diversified pool of mortgages. Being debt, you're, you're, you get paid back first, and those security properties uh, are spread all across the country. Your three dream living dinner party guests... Well, as you know, I'm big into sport, um, and I think uh, Kathy Freeman would be very cool. Um, Billy Birmingham, he was a he wrote the Twelfth Man, and whilst none of the worldwide sports commentators are with us anymore, I get them all in one go with Billy. And to um, to talk about investments and business, I think Larry Fink. If you could only hold one asset for ten years, what would that be? For me personally, it would be uh, land that's got some sort of income-producing asset on it or the capacity to build one. So commercial asset, resi, agri, or renewables, anything that uh, that can produce income uh, for the serviceability and the land for the long-term growth. What are the three drivers of returns for investors in this sector? When lenders look at, at borrowers, uh, we're looking at three main things, the the borrower themselves, so the, the liability of the borrower, uh, the quality of the asset, and the uh, equity component that the borrower is, is able to contribute if any of those three things are, pose a little bit extra risk, then we can, and non-bank and financial institutions can charge a slightly higher rate, which generates a higher return. And we manage that risk by decreasing the loan to value ratio or the loan amount to the borrower. Speaking of risk, inflation, yields, recession, geopolitics, which is the biggest risk in your view, 2023? All of them pose pretty big risks at the moment, and it's a shame that we're dealing with them all at once. Uh, the recession risk is probably the biggest, and, and many of those other risks that you you spoke about could drive recession, or, or recession could could uh, impact the others. But recession is probably the main one. A single piece of advice you could give your younger self looking back? I'd say once once you identify your skill set, double down on it. And just because something might come easy to you doesn't mean that it does to everybody else and that it is a very valuable um, asset to have. Finally, uh, can the Matildas win the World Cup? No doubt. Lauren, thanks for talking to us today. Thanks, Peter. 